this ice cream problem here um, where you go to an ice cream shop and they have five different flavors and you want to get three scoops on a cone. How many different ways can you do that where reps are allowed and order matters? So we were kind of used to doing reps are not allowed. So this is the first time we're taking a look at permutations and combinations where reps are allowed. So this one's a little easier. Order matters. Go ahead and put the ice cream cone to the side and you're going to put three scoops on it. Put three slots below it and you ask yourself, you say, Dr. Hilbert Geezer, how many different flavors could I put on the bottom scoop? Well, there are five. And then you say, how many flavors can I put for the middle scoop? Five. And for the top scoop, five. You multiply those numbers together, you get 125. And that happens to be the answer for this problem. And a way of writing this is um, the five pick three, but that means permutations without repetitions. This is where repetitions are allowed. You put a little R. It looks like an exponent, but it's, it's really a superscript. And so, yes, you can change this problem. Let me see. I think I did this in another problem where you have um, eight scoops on a cone. But before we do that, this is five times five times five, which is five cubed. So your formula for permutations where reps are allowed, n pick r, is going to be n to the r power. Or you can just do the slots. So if we switch this to 8 scoops on a cone, well then, then you're going to have this. And you're going to have more slots. And what you'll have here is instead of the three, you'll have an eight. So this is five to the eighth power. Five to the eighth power is a big number. I did that earlier. It's 390,625. So that is how you do permutations when reps are allowed. Oh, excuse me. And now we're going to go ahead and change this problem where it says order doesn't matter. So we're going to get rid of all this. Order doesn't matter means this is a combination, but this is a combination where reps are allowed. We've never done this. And this maybe does not belong in a Math for the Humanities class, but I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway. Suppose your flavors are chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, mitten chip, and rocky road. Go ahead and make this pattern here. And you could say, well, I want three scoops. We'll change this back to three. And I want two chocolate scoops and one minton chip. Now, order doesn't matter, so they're going in a bowl, maybe. You could say, oh, I want a vanilla, a mitten chip, and a rocky road. Or you can say, I want three strawberry scoops. So three stra strawberry scoops would look like this. Now, when you have this, you can read this off. Well, this looks like a zero, 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 and that looks like a one. Zero, zero, one, one, one. And then we have zero, 01. Over here we have 10110010. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. And then over here we have 11000. One, one, zero, zero, zero. And then we have 11. One, one. So really what you have here is these are bit strings of length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And we've done this problem with combinations. How many bit strings of length seven are there um, that have exactly three scoops or three zeros? That would be seven choose three. Seven choose three is 
35, 35 is the answer. So there is a formula for combinations, n choose r, where reps are allowed, and look at this. We had five different flavors. It wasn't five choose three, but it was actually seven choose three. So the formula is, is going to be, you add those numbers together, five plus three is eight, and subtract one. The formula is n plus r minus one, choose r and if you have that formula down you can do problem with eight scoops on a cone eight scoops on the cone would be combinations reps allowed we're gonna go eight no we're gonna go five choose eight with repetitions allowed and we fall into this formula here which is 5 plus 8 minus 1, choose 8. So this is 13 minus 1, this is 12. There's combinations here. 12, choose 8. I look on Pascal's triangle, that gives me 495. And so that is how you do permutations and combinations where reps are allowed. Thank you very much.